Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again, continuing our streak. Let's see who we might get on a randomized. We get regular Blue Baby. I think we did him recently. We haven't done regular Isaac in a little while though, so we'll definitely grab a regular old Isaac run. Uh, I did get told that there is potentially a bug with unlocks for um, the thingy mod, um, Repentance Plus. So I need to check this and check my unlocks here. So... I need to go and do um, a few of these that have apparently not unlocked properly. Because, for example, character unlock is meant to be... Okay, it is unlocked. Good. Um, and it didn't come up, but I think it has unlocked properly. So, we should check a few of these. Um, locked. Unlocked. Good. Um, I think... Was it um, Apollyon? Yeah, that was it. Apollyon unlocked. We need to do that. We, we made sure to do that last time. And another one was Jacob, which we also did, should be unlocked. So basically, that's just going to allow us to unlock some things that didn't unlock correctly last time. So hopefully, we can keep that going and remind ourselves to do that. I will still make sure not to cheat the unlock, so to say. Also, cancer off the bat is great. Um, I'll still make sure to actually go and get the unlocks before I, like, actually use the code to unlock them or, or use the, the menu to unlock them but it's still just worth remembering if the unlock doesn't pop up on screen there is a menu that allows us to do so thank you very much for implementing that menu i don't know how long it's been in there but very happy to have it uh pop this give up thank you thank you um and okay this is actually give up there brings me nicely into our fair into our question of the day today what is the worst advice you've ever received <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good example here, because I don't really have one off the top of my head, but um, that one there is a... Uh, that one there is is a good one. Just give up. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Definitely going to lose Devil Deal. I'm not careful here. Oh, wait. I can't lose Devil Deal. I got cancer, which is not a sentence I thought I'd hear myself say, but I have now said it. Um, but, yeah. Had a nice day today. It's been very, 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 very warm today, as it, had, as it was yesterday, so I've been... Out and about. Girlfriend's been at work all day today, though, so I've just been kind of playing Pokemon Go and, um, I don't know, just having a little wander, so to say. Um, yeah, it's been it's been enjoyable. I've had a nice day. And I just made a quiche, which I'm uh, hoping has turned out well. I don't really know how it's gone, but I wanted to make a crustless quiche because I've been trying to eat healthier, and crustless quiche is... Well, quiche is really nice, but obviously with, with a pastry crust, it's a little less... Uh, by the way, I see that double tinted rock there. Um, it's a little less uh, okay to have because it's the crust. You can't really have pastry too much on a diet. Uh, but if I do it crustless, kind of works out. And I, uh, I found a recipe to make it in my cast iron pan, so I did that. And it seems to have turned out pretty well. I haven't eaten it yet um, because it's just cooling at the minute. But ooh, <laughs> hell yes. I love that. That's just a flat three damage up. That's kind of great. That that's that's made my day. That has, but yeah. What is the worst advice you've ever received? Because I'm sure there's some good one. This this isn't particularly directly for me, and this might not even be bad advice. I just have to mention it. So at the minute, my uh, my girlfriend's boss is uh, getting ready to do like a uh, a canal swim, um, where he's gonna he's gonna swim the the canal near where I live. That's also really really good. I um, mean, he's gonna swim the canal near where I live, um, and yeah, the the water's um, not particularly clean in some areas, and he keeps getting the advice to... Um, oh, double pretty fly, very nice. He keeps being given the advice to drink full-fat Coke whenever, like, if you accidentally swallow the water, and that will, like, kill the bacteria. I'm not saying that's bad advice, but that's bullshit, right? That's not going to do anything. <laughs> like, that's got to be, like, an old wives tale. There is no way that does anything. But, like, it's not like it's just been one person that's told him it. Multiple people have told him this advice, and all of them it was unprompted. It's really weird. It, I just, I, I don't, I can't fathom how that would do anything. It's like, if the water's getting into your stomach... Your stomach acid is going to handle it far better than some full-fat Coke will, right? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's some science to it. Maybe there's some logic behind it, but I don't know. I'm 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 definitely a skeptic on that one. Um, definitely a skeptic. Do you know what? Bomb you. I'm trying to think of a really good example for me. Oh, dude, this is our damage is insane right now. This is actually wicked. Um, 
Yeah, I, like, sometimes I do this. Sometimes I'll be like, ooh, question of the day. And then I won't actually have an answer for myself. And I always like to give my own answer. And it usually informs the topics for the rest of the video. So it can be a little difficult if I just kind of come up one off the top of my head randomly. Sometimes, a lot of the time I kind of, oh my god. A lot of the time nowadays I kind of come in, this is insane. I kind of come in pretty prepared. Um, I'm going to re-roll that. Three broken hearts damage again. And we'll send out a tier that homes. Ooh, very nice, yeah. We'll grab that. Um, three broken hearts is a little saucy here, but otherwise not bad. We can go to Dark Path this time around, so let's do that. Um, this is going to be a really strong run, by the way. That that Wrath item we just got there is already top tier, and we already had a ton of damage, so. As you can see, we send out these little homing tiers. Basically, the more tiers we have, the better that's going to be. Very good. I would like to maybe swap out my D6 to take full advantage of my... Um, Take full advantage of my thingy here, my my trinket, because it's really good. But it's it's a very with the D6, it's a very hard trinket to actually utilize. Oh, uh, actually, I've got a pretty good one. It's kind of like it's not really advice, so to say, but it definitely fits into the category of kind of being screwed over because of what someone said. So, um, when I was like, um, when I was like, I don't know, I think I was like. 15? No, I think I think I was about 16 when this happened. Um, I I used to have an iPod. Um, I didn't I, I wasn't really big into having like the newest phone. I, I'm still not. I've never really been big into like that sort of stuff. But I had an iPod that I just used mainly for like watching YouTube videos and like Snapchat and a few of the few of the bits and bobs here and there. Ooh, we got a Zealot Heart here. Nice. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna leave the Zealot Heart till the end of the floor just because. It doesn't do anything for us on this floor. It gives us a um, lemma get and wisp when we move to the next floor. So at the minute, it's kind of useless for us. Um, I'm going to take these pills as well. Why not? I feel stompy and a range down. Range down doesn't really matter for us. Um, but yeah, so I, I had this iPod and it... Because obviously it's an iPod and I, I, Apple products, especially before, were... Um, Notorious for being an absolute pain in the ass if they broke because um, you were kind of just... Oh my god, we got all three pretty flies. That's awesome. Um, you were kind of just screwed because you had to send them in for repair or whatnot. And th there is obviously... There was ways of home repair, but there weren't really anything I was confident with doing. Neither was my dad. Um, but another family member um, said that they could do it. Said that they'd, they'd worked on it before. They'd done it before. And they could do a they could do a very good job of it. Um, and I was obviously like, okay, that's cool. Why not? Why the hell not? Um, if they can do it for me for free, or I can't, I can't remember if he asked my dad to charge or whatever, but whatever. I was like, cool, cool, cool. That sounds good. That's way easier than sending it off because sending it off is more expensive and takes significantly more time. Um, verp. I don't think another pretty fly does anything for us. I think you can only have three, so I'm not going to bother verping right now. We've been getting some really good pills right now. Um, yeah, and, and so I gave it to them, and, um, yeah, what proceeded was, was not what I was expecting, so I kind of took on their counsel, that, counsel, should I say, that they could, uh, that they could fix it, I took on what, what they said and said, okay, cool, I knew that they'd done stuff before and they'd worked with computers and stuff, so I was, I was reasonably confident, um, that it was the, the right decision, that it was a good idea, um, turns out, hmm, leechy baby, I want to re-roll you. I'm going to wait and re-roll you again. Um, yeah, uh, so I was like, okay, cool, cool. It'll get fixed. And so I, I gave it to him. And then it had been like it had been like a little bit longer than it should have been before we heard anything back. I think it had been like three or four days. And so we were kind of like, yo, what's uh, what's the his apps? We should have heard like something by now. Oh, that was very that was very close to being hit. And I don't know how I didn't get hit. Um, and I was kind of like, what's the his apps? What's going down? Um... And then he was like, hey, yeah, um, your screen is broken, and this is how it was when you sent me it, and I was like, it, no, that's not true. Um, turns out, so what you're meant, I don't know if any of you have ever seen how you repair an iPhone or done it yourself before, but what you're meant to do, because you can't take the back off normally, is you're meant to, um... You're meant to get a, a plunger or like some sort of suction cup and you're meant to suction cup the face, like the screen, uh, the glass screen off of the, um, kind of nice for us actually. There you go. 
comes a pocket item. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, you meant to suction cup it off and then you can get to the internals. But apparently he wasn't too aware of this tactic, which to be fair, to be fair, I can understand because it's not a normal way of doing things. It's not how you'd expect it was it was done. But at the same time, he did say he knew what he was doing. So, I don't know. Um, oh, God. That, why did that bomb go backwards? Man, this guy is... is can you Can you be hit by a bomb, please? I'm getting hit a lot here, and I'm just kind of taking it on the noggin right now. Dude, can you please... There you go. Piece of cheese. Thank you. A luck upgrade. Nice. And you know what? Rotten Baby's hella good. I'll take Rotten Baby. Um, yeah. And so, they apparently weren't aware of this tactic. And, uh, yeah, they'd, um, tried to get a piece of metal between the screen and the backing and pry the screen off. Which, as many of you might imagine, in turn completely fucked the screen. It literally smashed it. Um, they then claimed that it was smashed when they received it. Um, and yeah. Uh, but then eventually they, they did get into the phone. They did like take it off and uh, and we kind of was like, it's annoying but yeah, what whatever. Whatever happened to the screen happened. Oh, I always forget how hard this boss is. Always forget how hard this boss is. Um, we're kind of just like, yeah, whatever. What, what happens happens. We, we're not, not going to fight about it right now. Uh, you can just pay for a new screen and Bob's your uncle, what that, whatever. Um, doesn't really make too much of a difference to us. Okay, I need to remember that these guys are tough. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, that went, that went pretty well. Grab this again, yeah. And so, um, and so we're like, well, okay, whatever. He'll just pay for a new screen. It's 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 fine. Um, but we had a, actually also bent the casing of the phone, which can't really be replaced. So that was a bit, also not really great. Um, and yeah, so so we, we were like, I don't know why. And this is pro probably the the biggest mistake that me and my, my dad made in this whole transaction situation. We were like, cool. You can you can just finish off repairing it, and we'll be good to go. Um, and um, so he got into the internals of the phone eventually, obviously. And bear in mind, he was trying to fix the battery. Um, and he did. I think he replaced it. I can't actually remember exactly now. I'm pretty sure he bought, like, a replacement battery. But he had to, like, reattach it. And I don't think he knew how. Um... Because it was soldered back on, which I think is how you're meant to do it. But the, the soldering that, that was done was not all that great. Uh, it wasn't really done properly. And so eventually we were just like, okay, fuck it. Um, like, let's just, let, like, whatever. Let's just uh, take it into a real shop because the battery isn't working and whatever. He put it back together and he got a new screen for it and stuff. But it still wasn't working, so we're like, okay, he, he can't do this, let's just take it into a shop. It would have been the obvious answer to do in the first place, but there you go. But anyways, so we took it into a shop. Um, this game still really nice here. We took it into a shop and they, basically their first thing was they wanted to do an assessment of the um, of the damages of, of like what was wrong with the battery and, and what could be done and, and any damage that, uh, to be fixed that was caused by the other person. Um, and we got a letter back from this shop saying, hey, this is direct, like direct quote, hey, this person that, that tried to repair your phone has broken it beyond repair. And they sent pictures of the internals of the, um, of the soldering iron work and it was demolished. Like there was, there was solder, there was solder just Everywhere. Like, I don't, do you call the metal solder? I don't know. Do you call it iron? I have no idea what you call it. But anyways, the, the, the metal, it was just blobs of it everywhere. And he was like, yeah, this phone is literally fucked beyond repair. The, the person has absolutely well and truly destroyed this. Treasure rooms and planetariums will spawn unlocked. Okay. I mean... This is really good, but while we've got the D6, it's not good. <laughs> so, having them spawn and locked is kind of nice. Uh, I wonder if it counts for this one here, because it's uh, the same floor. It does count, okay. Save ourselves some keys. That is a strange way of doing that. Um, for the plus luck, I'll take that. 
for the plus luck, I will take that. Got to be careful of my current HP. It's not great right now. Ah, this is a boss that could do a lot of damage to me, and I've already hit myself. Okay, that worked out somehow. Shouldn't have, though. Okay, 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 okay. <coughs> Things are getting a bit risky now. My health is very low. This is a really good run as well, but I've uh, played it a little poorly. Nice of all the enemies there to kill themselves instantly. Definitely helpful. The sun is rather nice here. I'm just going to pop it. We do have a tainted treasure room, of which I have heard there's an update which might have fixed my issue. So, I'm going to try it. Please give us a soul heart. Yes! I'm going to try it. I'm still going to do the save tactic before we enter, just in case. Oh, hello there. First of all, let's do this. Wow. <laughs> Pop the Soul of Andromeda here. Not great, but we got a soul high out of it. I, w I wouldn't expect these to always give you an item, so that's fine by me. Quite powerful if they did. There's a red rock in here for some reason. Anyways, out we go. Uh, yeah, so we quickly do a, a save just to make sure. It might still crash. <laughs> it crashed on me saving the game. Not even when I expected it to crash. Game, are you alright? Are you alright? <laughs> That's really funny. Oh my god. Normally crash is really frustrating, but that was just that was just funny. Apologies for the black screen for a few seconds while we reboot here. Um yeah, that was kind of funny. Uh, it's probably gonna make me replay the whole floor now. Oh no, it's it's bombed the run. Are you kidding me? It's bombed the entire run. Anyways, I'll be right back. I've recreated the run. We are back. Of course the floor won't be the same, so just apologies in advance for that. I give myself all the things I had back. Obviously, you can see I added Halo flies instead of giving myself pretty fly pills because I don't know how to do that, I'll be honest. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. It's hopefully not going to crash again. I don't know what caused that crash. I don't know why it was such a, a devastating crash as well. Normally, uh, oh, hello. That's kind of useful if I'd have known that earlier. Um, normally, the crashes do don't have that issue where it just stops you from re-entering the game. It, I mean, it happens from time to time, I guess, but yeah. It is what it is. Um, we'll, we'll see how this goes from here on out. Oh, uh, also, just just for um, just for the sake of the run, I know this seems weird, but also I've got two extra heart containers. I don't really know where they came from, but that's what health I was on. So there you go. <laughs> Um, I'll take all these pills, speed down, shot speed up, and I think I was on one soul heart, actually, so I'll let myself have that. But yeah, annoying, but that's that's the way the cookie crumbles this time. Oh, also one thing as well, you can see because I teleported to this floor early, um, we have um, quite, the, quite the high planetarium chance, so we'll probably get a planetarium item as well at some point. Unfortunately, this is sometimes the way Isaac's gotta be. It's very rare. Like I said, it's not happened in a while that I've had a crash be that bad, but yeah. I'm gonna have to edit these videos together because I stopped the recording by accident instead of pausing it as well. Like the idiot that I am. Keep pushing forward. But this is still a really good setup though. I've kind of lost my train of thought now. Oh yeah, I was talking about... um. Yeah, the repair thing, and yeah, this guy was like, dude, whoever touched this, don't ever let to your, touch your technology ever again. I was like, okay, thank you. Um, will we roll that? Ah, oh, damn it. I realized as well on the, on the previous floor, I think I left my um, my item. I was supposed to go and re-roll it again, and I just didn't. It is what it is, though. This run's still really good regardless. We have lots of damage. I just got to be careful with my HP here. My HP is not good. God damn it, could we not get another one of these because we have an actual shop please where we can buy items damn it all chests spawn as golden chests but we have no keys it's not how it was meant to be i, don't, I can't remember how many keys we had before but I'm, I'm just gonna pretend they all got they all got gone somehow there's one make our way through to this guy oh god 
Holy hell. That laser beam plus wrath is insane. It spawns a bunch of tears as it does it. Got that. That's going to give us some speed. That's kind of nice. And we get an additional key. Okay, let's keep her moving. Keep her going down. But we'll see if we get another tainted treasure room. Hopefully exiting out and doing a, a quick quick save sort of thing. Doesn't crash it again. Yeah. It, I, I could maybe go and check my log to find out what happened. I probably should actually go and check my log to find out what happened. In fact, I'm going to pause and go and check my log to find out what happened. Okay, I am back. It did say something about Ipecac causing some sort of error. I don't know if that was the cause of the crash or not, but I've sent it to the devs regardless. We'll see how that goes. For now, though, we push onwards, ever onwards. But yeah, this is going to be the first time I've had to, like, actually edit a video in a while. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I don't really edit my videos. I just upload them wholesale. I don't know. I, I, that's how I like to watch my content. So it's how, how I like to upload my content. I know it's not for everyone, but I'm sure all of you here, it's uh, it's, it's the sort of thing you want to see. Because, I mean, I hope it's the sort of thing you want to see because you're here. Otherwise, you're just punishing yourself for no reason by watching my content you don't actually like, which would be really, really weird. any of you out there that are watching my content as a form of self-punishment let me know why <laughs> i i'm gonna i'm gonna guess the numbers on that one are relatively low but it would still be interesting to find out oh my god now, i'm guessing for a lot of you now or at least i hope um if you're still watching this late in you are either new to modding and interested new to the channel and interested or this has become part of your daily routine or part of your uh, nightly routine, either or. Either way, I'm happy with it all around. Yeah, I'll go for that guy. I'm happy to be a part of your day regardless. It's always nice to hear when people are uh, letting me know that they watch my content to go to sleep or like they watch it when they get home from work. Some people watch it in their lunch break. It's always cool to hear. Right, we've got to we've got to seek out the planetarium because there's got to be one on this floor, right? There just has to be. Have we done the beast as this fella? We have. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, does that does that mean do we have the thingy unlocked for this guy? I need to check now. Isaac, character unlock. No, that's meant to be unlocked. Okay. Cool. I've said it. There you go. There's the planetarium. I knew it was coming. 81% chance it was pretty darn likely we were going to have one. I'm going to get Venus, which is actually one that I really like. I'm just going to take. I think Venus is a lot better than people give it credit for. Enemies just kill each other and don't do contact damage to you anymore. It's really good. It's, it's like too spooky, but like way better. Like too spooky is also an item that I don't understand why it gets such a bad rap. Like it's not amazing, but people treat it like it's one of the really bad devil deals. It is literally guaranteed no contact damage for the rest of the run, pretty much. Like obviously there's some enemies that can still get you like hands and stuff, but for the rest of them they're not going to touch you because they they basically can't anymore. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, this game and fucking space bar items. Please give me a break. getting screwed by how many space bar items I'm getting. I don't know if it's because modding just adds more space bar items to the pool, but that was two vanilla ones, so it can't be, right? Anyway, so let's keep on moving. Also, we are only seven minutes into the run now, so boss rush is well and truly plausible. Um, not that we need to do it, but it is. Kind of okay with being hit right now, to be honest, because it's going to do a lot of damage. If we time it right, that is. Which we didn't that time around. There you go. God, that's, our clots are still alive somehow. We're going Dark Path this time, aren't we? There you go. More damage for us as well. Infestation 2, though, is pretty good. I think I'll take that. I think we have a good enough setup to, to have a relatively quick boss rush here. And also being able to charm the bosses. I know it's not like perma charm. It doesn't charm them properly, but it's still useful. Oh, I don't know why I didn't see that one coming. That was pretty obvious. Ooh, a miser heart. 
When depleted, rerolls item pickups in the room. Passively grants discount shops while held. Ooh, nice. That got reworked a little bit. It never used to be like that. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked by this guy. This champion dude is insane. Holy hell. Oh my god, that guy's... What the hell? I might die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Holy dickens. I did not think Eternal version of this boss would be this insane. Okay, he managed to kill himself. We're okay for now. Our cheeks are, for now, unclapped. But only for now. Cheek clapping is short term. This guy's also taking quite a, quite a bit of damage. I thought I had more damage than this. I thought I'd be wrecking fools right about now. A concussion just in case there as well. What the hell? Who's left? Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were still skulking about. Okay. What's this guy doing? He's jumping around. He's jumping around. Oh, no. Now, now he's doing this attack, which I cannot handle. Actually, this attack isn't so bad. Oh god, that one was a little bit, a little bit saucy. But yeah, look, champions, all with touch of themselves, die. I would like some health, please. I would like a heart, please. Oh, there's a heart. Hello. Didn't see you there. I forget as well we got cancer, so, like, health-wise, we should be fine. If we die, I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. Because um, some bosses, even in boss rush on this floor, will deal full heart damage. We don't have to deal with that as much anymore. Dude, stop, stop. Where, where are you? I have no idea where you are right now, baby. Ah! She. But yeah, I don't even remember unlocking the Miser Heart, but I'm glad I have it. These herbing shots, holy hell. Damn it, I tried to push him directly into the uh, into the spikes there. Didn't quite work out. In fact, that's actually a re I've just I've just realized how valid of a tactic that is. Like the knockback this thing has, even on bosses, is so severe that I think that if we get the right bosses, we can do it. Like some of them plant like that and aren't gonna be super easy to use. Sometimes. It just might work. I just to push you away. Oh, dude. Stop it now. Not funny. Okay, you gave me a half heart at least. Honestly, concussion sometimes does a boatload of damage. I'm not sure why, but sometimes it does and sometimes it does. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at that. Straight into the spikes. This is bomb territory here. Okay, that somehow worked out in my favor. I still, I'm still taking a really, 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 really high amount of damage. You didn't even spawn any health, did you? Oh wait, no, you did, you did. I heard a heart drop. I don't know where it's gone, but I heard one. Okay, no, maybe I didn't. Oh no, I did, I did, I did. I did. Holy sugar. Do you see how far I knocked that guy then? Knocked him flying. Goddamn, Skolex is like the worst boss to ever have in this mode. Dude, you just... Did Skolex just telefrag me? Wait, 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 there's a sun card in here? Where? Bitch, where? Oh, there you go. Okay, I'll hold on to that. Where did that come from? Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Can actually knock him flying. 
jump at me? Psych! <laughs> That's hilarious. You want another go, son? You want another go? Oh, uh, psych! Not a good bomb. Oh no, no, it hit. I think this guy splits though, doesn't he? No, it doesn't. I thought he was split into smaller enemies. This is gonna be crazy. There's gonna be so many spiders. But actually, with Venus plus uh, Infestation 2, they're really not that much of an issue. Didn't expect that. Hello, fallen angel boy. How are you this fine day? I would like that heart, please. Stop keeping me from it. We're doing just fine here. I thought we were going to be doing way worse in this fight, but we're doing just fine. There's another sloth somewhere. There he is. Got a Bob's Rotten Head in there? I probably should have waited until later in the game to uh, re-roll that, but I suppose we might get multiple re-rolls now, so... Not terribly... Not terribly important when we did that, really. I've got a sun card, so I'm, I'm really not worried about my damage here. Okay, good. You're, you are the most annoying, so glad that you're dead. Oh. oh, there's still... Wait, what? Still part of you alive, but it's still... What the hell? It's confusing. Damn it, I pushed you into the spike. You didn't die instantly. Rude. I don't know if my Concussion Blast actually knocks back shots as well, it might. I don't know who I ought to be paying more attention to here, to be honest. Yeah, please stop. That hit me, goddammit. Okay, you're sorted. You are a nuisance, but you're sorted. Okay, we are going to get another reroll on this, so that was kind of worth it. Oh my god, he's attacking his own child. Child abuse. That thing was attached to you. Oh, baby. We got Tech X, which is pretty awesome. And we didn't even get a charge for this thing, so I guess we're taking Bomb Bag. Okay. That was uh, interesting. Let's be on our way. <laughs> we got Tech X out of it, so pretty good going, really. I don't even know, how's Tech X going to function with Wrath? Pretty well. Pretty well indeed. Okay. That makes me happy. I didn't know if it was going to work at all. Turns out it works really well. Okay. Get gone. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Got like a barrage of shots for every tick of damage that it does. That's going to be... Very high damage output. There you go. And with the strong homing, it gets to... I maybe think that the uh, the the homing or the length at which they stay in the air could maybe do to be reduced a tad. That seems to be, like, the strongest thing about Wrath. I mean, it does give you three broken hearts, so it ought to be strong. That's definitely not debated. It definitely should be strong. But it might be a little too good. The homing is just insane. It can, like, retarget to new enemies and, like, it can hover around an enemy while it's, like, invincible and stuff. It's it's kind of crazy. That was just silly. There you go. Look at that. That's... Yeah, this Tech X is, uh, quite something. That's useless to us. That's unfortunately also useless to us. Okay. Kind of, we're kind of just speedrunning the rest of this one now. We're going speedy boosties. Especially considering I've now got to edit these parts together. I thought I'd caught the game out. I got ahead of the crash and it was like, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, you didn't. I'll have to keep an eye on that and see if it happens again. Because, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't.
Ow. We're taking a bit too much damage here. It's nothing crazy. Half lucky. Ooh, there's an immortal heart back there. We need that. Immortal heart. That's going to be huge for us. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Haven't really had too much use for the D6 yet since we got back online, but we'll try and utilize it a little bit here. Sadly, big wrong way here. Big F. Do you know what? At this point, I'm going to get the uh, Immortal Heart cooking again anyways, so just run right over it. It's kind of like having Holy Mantle where you just see a trap room and you're just like, I don't care. <laughs> this means nothing to me. God damn wrath, you beautiful bastard of an item. Also, maybe another thing that you could do to slightly nerf it. Make it so it doesn't have spectral. It having spectral is really strong. If it could actually just bump into walls and not be able to home across the entire room, it would maybe be a little more balanced. I, I don't know. I'm not saying it's a particularly unbalanced item because it's only really good if your build is really good. Like, it, it it's kind of one of those things where it's like, it's very good if your fire rate's great and stuff. But if you've got low fire rate, it's just like a little addition. But I still think it has a really low threshold to become really good. So it might need just some brief tweaks to fix that a little bit. I still love the item though, I think it's a really good concept and a really fun addition to any run. It's got synergy potential. There you go, Mum's heart is pretty much dead. There you go. And down we go. Yeah, these last two floors are going to be blasted. Blasted through. We really need keys. Oh no we don't, we're, we're on the red chest. We don't need keys at all, what am I on about? Ow. Ex excuse me. A mortal heart gone in an instant. That a mortal heart of family. Whoa, the lag in this room is heavy. Oh lord, what's going on? I think because of cancer we should be fine, but I'm a little worried. Okay, good. This probably won't be the right way, but I'm going to check it regardless. Oh, oh, it could be, it could be. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I realized I should just go and open that golden chest, but at this point I'm like, hey her, I think we've got I think we've got the ingredients we need for a win. I think. I say that without really knowing. Another wrong way. It's always these huge rooms where there's just like a ton of different variants for your sake. That I should end up doing wrong over and over. You're not taking my D6. You're not. Yeah, we went all the wrong ways there. Okay, all y'all charming each other. Doing each other a disservice. These slightly bigger rooms tend to have a little bit more lag in them, don't they? Ooh, we should check out what that card is, to be honest. That could be really good. Hermit, not that good. Do you know what? I'm, I'd rather take a sun card right now. I realise there's a crack key there as well. I should utilise. That is an, an idea past. Red ghost to go down. Ooh, those, oh, those, I think that was a broken heart. Or was that a savage heart? That might have been a savage heart. Okay, good. The Fallen doesn't get any boss armor here, so he goes down real quick. Okay, just move Satan along. <laughs> just push Satan out the way. Easiest way to deal with Satan. Whoa, okay, no, don't do that. Don't push him too far. If you push him too far, he, uh, he claps back. Yeah, he he does some uh, some unsavory things if you, uh, if you push him around too much. We've still got a Sun card, though. It's really funny that you can just push the feet about. 
Okay, let's keep the sun card ready just in case here because I'm uh, getting severely bullied. I'd really like to make it to the next floor before I use the sun card because then I've got mapping. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Got Soul Heart there as well. And then we can just use the sun card straight away here. Oh, we... Oh! I was like, we did get golden chests, but yeah, of course we did, because we've got the golden key. Actually, kind of useful. Not that we have keys to open it, but really good to know that. I didn't think it'd work that way. That's pretty cool. Despite the crazy that's going on, our damage seems to have fallen off a little bit here, doesn't it? I walked directly into that. Calm down, I. I don't know. <laughs> At first, I was really confident in this run. Now, I'm a little shaken. This is a really, really rough room as well. Because these, uh, the halves, the Loki halves have boss armor. The full Loki doesn't, the Loki halves do. Which means they're going to take considerably longer to kill. We'll get through them, though. We'll get through them. Get a bit of stunning in there. There you go. Damn it. Give me some keys, game. Whoa! They changed direction in very strange ways. Are they herming? Oh my god, they were herming. And, okay, we have actually made it to the boss with decent health and there was more there. And I got hit again. Good. This guy will drop HP though. Beautiful. Oh, that was exactly the amount of HP we needed. Thank you. Okay. It's lamb time. By the way, I don't know if this will end. If this will have ended our streak or not, because the game crashed. I don't know how the game, how the streak handles crashing. I think it's just going to have ended the streak and reset it back to to what will be won if we win this. Look at the amount of tears fired by that brimstone beam there. That's insane. Oh, the concussion does destroy shots. Nice. Which way are you going to twist it? You're not going to twist it. Okay. Interesting. Interesting choice by you there, my lad. Okay, you're, you're toasted now. Yeah, you're toasted. There you go. Okay. We, we finished that one out. I'm not going to do Void this time. We finished that one out. Bit of an odd run. I hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.